So what do you think is the role of robotics in this high-tech uh, manufacturing? Sort of like industrial robots, robotic arms, all that kind of stuff, um, or even even more complicated kind of robots. What, what, what do you think is the role of ro robotics? What do you think is the role of AI in, in this um, manufacturing future you're thinking about? Well, robotics to me is an extremely I exciting field. I don't have the same expertise that you do. I have an adjacency, but not the depth of knowledge. Um, have, have never really delved deeply into it or made investments in it. But I think what's exciting about it is everything from doing jobs that are very dangerous for humans, um, enhancing the human experience. When you look at really repetitive labor, th things that, you know, it might take away a job, but is it a good job for that that person? Is, you know, spending 30 years doing something highly repetitious, is that, is that a good experience in life? So I think, um, and then when you think about everything from military applications, uh, you know, rescue, we're already seeing a bunch of those things. And then just lastly, when you talk about that human interaction with robots, when you start to have the combination, so you have some level of intelligence and interaction, I mean, that's why we always love the droids in Star Wars, right? I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's exciting. It captures the imagination. Um, and I, I think, look, many, many hours and have been spent on debating artificial intelligence and the, the ramifications if things go sideways and so forth. Um, and I think those are all, you know, those are appropriate conversations to be having. AI is happening. Uh, I think it's actually happening slower than most people realize um, because there are tasks that humans do every minute of every day standing up without losing your sense of balance. I mean, these are really hard things, but I think uh, there's enough investment both in private industry as well as nation states now on artificial intelligence that it is coming. Um, so both in the software space, in the digital space, and in the physical space. So we talked about manufacturing, so industrial robotics is very true that even in the factory, even the tasks that you think are pretty uh, basic, you know, the, the amount of small intuitive decisions that humans make is quite incredible. So we have to be kind of explicit about saying which tasks are actually really hard and humans are just really good at them. And uh, so on, and on the flip side, in the digital space with, the, with social networks, with recommender systems, with all kinds of like uh, personal assistance in terms of voice-based uh, voice AI systems, all of that. There's opportunities there to find niches where AI can really have uh, a transformative effect. I think one of the places that really haven't, this is where like you're worried to say stupid things, but I believe this very much that um, when we have AI systems in the home currently, you have somebody like Alexa and Google Home and so on. They're kind of very basic servants. They tell you about the weather, they can play some music, they can turn the lights on and off, all the kind of like smart home stuff. I think there's a lot of value in um, systems that form relationships with us in the way that pets do, dogs and cats. I don't know, cats, just for people who have cats, cats don't care about you. They they really don't. They don't form any kind of relationship. I don't know why you have a relationship with them. It's one way. Anyway, <laughs> sorry to throw some shade. I'm just kidding, by the way. That's a basic kind of connection you have with another living being. Uh, then there's also just friends. You have you have different levels of friends, acquaintances, you have lifelong friends, all that. That, that friendship you have I really believe that there is some aspect of the human experience that um, is deeply enriched by interacting with other beings. And for um, systems, computing systems, artificial intelligence systems in our world, to have the capability to engage in some of that, I think is not just an opportunity to, to, 
to uh, help people grow, become better people, but it's also just a good business opportunity too. And that hasn't really been explored enough. So that to me is really, that's a whole exciting space that I think will enable better industrial ro industrial robotics. It will, it, it will empower a better Facebook uh, or a better social network, a competitor to Facebook that overthrows Facebook. So it'll, it'll create better technologies that uh, currently don't have that human robot interaction touch. So uh, I don't know, that's super exciting to me, but that that has to deal with the mess of human nature. The, the, the reason that most robotics people and AI people stay away from humans, uh, they stay away from the human robot interaction problem is because humans are complicated. They're messy. They're hard to control. They're hard to uh, um, predict stuff about. They're hard to make sense of or like test repeatedly because one human can be drastically different from another human. And so for, to deal with that as a robotics problem is super hard. And so one of the questions is uh, which problems can you remove the human from consideration when you're trying to solve the problem? So like Elon Musk is an example of somebody who believes autonomous driving, we can remove the human from consideration. We can solve autonomous driving as a robotics problem. It's stay in the lane. When there's a red light, you stop at a red light. You know, if there are humans in the picture, like pedestrians, that's a ballistics problem. It's just treat them as a moving object that has a, uh, with, with like 90% probability keeps moving in the way they were in the, in the past few seconds with some smaller probability that might stop or turn. Like just do some basic models about them and you'll be able to do it just fine. So I, I, I tend to believe that even driving has to consider the full messiness of humans, the dance, the game theoretic dance of chicken that we all do when we jaywalk, we look at the car is that car, that car doesn't, that driver doesn't have the guts to murder me. So I'm going to walk in front of it and not look at the car. We do that kind of dance and uh, AI systems need to be able to play, uh, 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 do that kind of dance.